Welcome to Wine Wednesday. So today we are having, I forgot, <laughs> Wine 101 Red. So this is Niagara College's Teaching Winery Wine. Um, 101's kind of the brands that they use for their beer and their wine because they like to use it as like a lesson, so like 101, like you would like a first year class. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so Wine 101, they're red and it is a mix of a whole bunch of wines that actually have the percentages laid out as well. So it's 50% um, Cab Franc, 20% uh, Merlot, 9% Baco Noir, 9% Gaming Noir, 7% Pinot Noir, 3% uh, Cab Sauve, and 2% Syrah. So a good mix, so they made each of those individually and then aged them together after, which I think will be interesting. There's a lot in here, but I'm going to read you the back. So the Niagara College Teaching Winery forms an integral part of training for students pursuing careers in the wine industry. Our Wine 101 label celebrates the knowledge, passion, and creativity of the professors and students who pursue excellence in the field of winemaking and viticulture at Niagara College. Uh, VQA, obviously Niagara Wine, so it's right on the Niagara Lake campus of the Niagara College, um, right there now beside the uh, distillery and then across from the brewery and beside the cannabis little growing. <laughs> um, and it's 12.5 percent and of course your college screw caps I love a good glug <laughs> oh it's a very deep color but it's got some lightness to it It's like deep, but still transparent. My cat's whining. You want some? Miss <sighs> Gray wants to do it with me because she's being super needy. What do you think? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Mm, very strong on the raspberry and strawberry, so it's very fruit forward. Oh, okay. It finishes very differently, but it is soft. Mm. Oh, there's a lot going on. So it's, <laughs> it's very fruity and sweet. Like if, especially if you leave, leave a little bit on your lip, like I don't know, I'm really tasting that. But then as it sits, you get like the deeper oak and spice in it. That's very interesting. Hmm. That's really cool. It's a dry wine. It... It's not bold because that's what I find with anything with a blend, it's never going to be super strong, but usually it doesn't have this much like flavor differentials as you go through the drink. Um, on their website, it says it pairs well with anything like barbecue, um, pizza and pasta. So, you know, the classics, the things I eat mostly in my diet that I love to pair a wine with. So that's really good for that. And it's $13.95 at the Tea Chain Winery. So it's a pretty good price. Yeah, you really get the oak. I have to say this succeeded my expectations. I didn't know what it was, but I bought this because it was cheaper and I was thinking of making a mulled wine, which I never had made and clearly still have not made because I'm drinking it. Um, no residue. Hmm. I'm going to give this a 7.9. It's pretty good, but it is kind of funny how the flavors change so much in such a very different way. If you're at Niagara College, I would say pick up this bottle. Let me know what you think of it. It is something different. If you do only, if you're someone who likes one specific grape, probably not for you because it has all of them in it. But excuse me, Mrs. Gray clearly didn't like it. Now she's cleaning herself. But there's the Niagara College Wine 101 Red 2019. Cheers, guys. <laughs>